Hi guys, welcome to another video. And this one is about using the free space of a bigger SD than 32 gigabytes um, on how to create a virtual disk. So the complete SD can be used on the Amiga side. But let me start from the beginning. Mark asked me because he flashed Coffin OS and Coffin OS is a distro that is only 32 GB size. And this is true for any other distro that is 60 GB, 32 GB and that will, is flashed on a bigger SD size. So this video is for every distro out there that is less or up to 32 GB size. So what I have here, this is my distro, Caffeine OS, with the normal uh, partition, partition layouts, but this time is flashed on a 64 GB. So this is the MO68 boot partition where MU68 image is and the definitions etc. It's now it's a one gigabyte size partition so I have more free space to for data exchange between Amiga and the PC. Then I have the caffeine partition where the Amiga stuff is, the Amiga partitions etc. And this is at the moment unlocated so I will want to use it so I have also this space available so first thing is right click on it and create a new simple volume and next and next and next again do not format this volume next finish you can click on cancel ignore these requesters it's allocating the free space this can take a bit Hope you guys enjoyed the music. Okay, it's finished. So it's ready for rumble. And the second utility that we need is disk parts. Okay. Disk part. So Taking a while. Hello. Ah. And then let me just list this. Okay. List disk. And I will want to work on disk two. Just a warning for you guys if you select a different disk and if you do not pay attention you will destroy your data and you don't want to destroy Windows do you? Hmm. Okay, so select disk 2 disk 2 is now the selected disk and now list <coughs> and again, be careful. In my case, is the partition three. I will select, select partition three. 
partition tree is now the selected partition and now I will introduce the ID or set the partition ID set ID 76 76 so this is the ID for a Midland partitions okay you guys that are, were not aware till now yes MO68 uses the same partitions as a Midland do so if you have experience with a Midland you already know what I am talking about so from the PC side I am finished I will now remove the ST from the PC and insert it on the <coughs> and we'll turn my Amiga on so just a moment Oop, Amiga power on And there is this, it put it. So now we will continue on the Amiga side and we will use the HD toolbox. Uh, if you guys are using your own distros, your own builds, just you guys need to in the icon tool types in introduce the MO68 disk device which is this one here okay and save and run now and there it is the virtual drive that we have created is this one the first one is the old disk do not mess with this one the first one if you change anything on it everything will be deleted okay <clears throat> so this one is the coffee in os where all the partitions are so okay so my partitions and the disk that we want to prepare is this one so will tell you that it's not yet installed, you click OK, you have the Microsoft Manufacturer's name, you, you guys don't need to change it, but I will do this only for show, but it's not necessary, it's only for show, caffeine, enter, and drive name, caffeine, OS, this tool. Install. Okay. Okay. And we are now ready to partition. So, default setup. You guys can go up, up to wait. But I just want one. This is only for test and show. So the first thing I will want to do is to update my file system because I do not use fast file, fast, fast file system, so I don't need it. And add a new one. I use PFS3 all in one. This one load. Oh great! Now I have forgot the identifier. Uh, run another instance of HD toolbox cell partition drive and identifier is this one here so identifier identifier is five oh fear fear five 303 
so. Okay, can now close this one. Press enter. Okay. normally change also this to 512 because if yes our system it detects the block size also so and mask max transfer is okay okay and now I will want to change also the partition name <coughs> to dh2 because I have already this one, DH0, DH1, and the new one will be DH2. And I will give you some buffers to be landed for now. Okay, it's not bootable. I do not want to use it as a bootable partition. You can, you guys can. Use the, this one, this new partition, to install, for example, caffeine, uh, coffin, sorry, coffin, or a different OS. And uh, from the early boot menu, just need to select which which uh, partition you guys want to boot. I will make a video about that later, but for now, let's continue. So I have everything. Save. Do you wish to proceed? Yes, okay. Exit and reboot. <laughs> and there it is, my new partition. And because I am using PFS file system, I will need to use. PFS format and PFS format device is DH2 with the name of test for now and the quick format and I do not want icons no icons no icons, this will avoid the trash icon and file size number uh, linked FN size, FN size 107. So, KFS format, device name, quick, no icons, FN size, okay, enter, enter again. Okay, <coughs> this will take a bit also to complete. And there it is. Ready to run now. And this is my new partition. If you guys want to change the icon, you can. Two ways. The first one is if you, you are using coffee, uh, caffeine OS, you just need to right click on it, information, and drag an icon to there and save, and you have a disk icon. The second way is to replace the disk info with your favorite icon. Okay, so let's make quick test here stuff let's copy some music for example music to test music mp3 I don't know copy
Okay. And what else? Some pictures. Pictures. Test with PFS Doctor. See PFS Doctor PH2 check. And I want to create a log in RAM. good to me well guys that's about it this is this is a video about on how to create virtual drives to expand and use the free space of your SD cards okay have a nice day guys